Okay, we'd now like to show you uh, how to dry mount, uh, mount this map, for instance, or any other poster uh, photograph down onto some foam centred board. Foam centred board is a very lightweight product. Um, this is a five millimetre thick um, substrate, and we're going to use it again using the dry mounting tissue that we're using, sticking the picture down onto the board. One thing you'll notice is that we've actually allowed ourselves quite a large border of the foam centred board. The reason for this is when it goes into the vacuum press, the rubber diaphragm, when it forces itself up, will crush the edge of the, the foam centred board approximately about an inch all the way around coming into the board. So, again, we're just going to move that out of the way, take our piece of dry mounting tissue, our roll of dry mounting tissue, sorry, roll that out, take your poster, your print, your map. Cut the dry mounting tissue, okay, just making sure the board is nice and clean, just using the tack rag there again. We can lay the dry mounting tissue onto the board, just a little clean down of the back of the print. Again, cleanliness is the most important thing here, so again you can see that we've got the board the largest, then the dry mounting tissue, and then the print. So we'll take the board, the dry mounting tissue, and the print over to the base of the press, pop it into the base of the press on top of the grey vacuum film, pulling back the silicon release film, making sure that everything gets covered, the overhang of dry mounting tissue especially. Okay, we can then, once it's all covered, Close the lid of the press down, put the latches on, press the start button and you'll notice here that we've actually got it set to 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Again the 20 seconds is to allow for the, for the vacuum cycle to actually uh, pull pressure. Um, 3 minutes, because we're going onto foam centred board, foam centred board is, uh, has got almost like a clay coating on it. Um, and it's not as breathable as, as the dry mounting tissue, uh, sorry, the white display board that we used earlier. Um, so therefore you're going to need a little bit longer in the vacuum press. Again, you'll notice that we're coming to the end of the cycle. Uh, it's the, th the three minutes, 20 seconds are almost up. Uh, um, again, this is, uh, we've got, we're using the timer uh, in the automatic mode. So again, once the, once the machine has come to the end of the cycle after the, uh, the three minutes and 20 seconds, this will reset itself. Again, the, the pump will turn itself off, the air will be allowed back in so that we can actually lift up the lid of the press and then we'll take it out and put it onto a flat surface. So there it switches itself off, you can see it's already reset itself. Undo the latches, lift the lid up. Static normally helps the filmic release liner to stick to the lid of the press, so again we're just going to carefully roll the silicon release film out of the way, folding it over to the one side. We can take the board, get it laying on a flat surface, and you'll actually notice here where instead of five millimetres thick, this is probably now around about two millimetres thick. So if we were when we do trim this out, again ready for framing, this, the actual board where the print is will be five millimetres thick and we'll show you that. We'll take our big purple ruler, line it up, nice sharp blade. Always use a sharp blade when you're cutting the foam board. And you can see here, if I put those two side by side, the difference in thickness. So we're back to the original thickness of the foam board. So just be a little bit wary when you're using foam centered board in the vacuum press.